여러분 안녕하세요 터미입니다 Let's have fun learning Korean today! Today's grammar is first 의무로 because since second 이나 할것 없이 regardless of or and third 는이 미만큼 to the extent that because after you learn this you will be able to express something popular among many people just like 청소년이나 성인이나 할것 없이 모두가 그 드라마에 빠져들었어요. Regardless of teenagers or adults, everyone was into the drama. Let's learn these unique expressions in Korean, pass topic to level 4, and become a super master of Korean. I'm sure you guys can achieve it. 그럼 시작할게요. <웃음> The first grammar, 의무로, means because, since. As you can see, this grammar expresses reasons or causes and appears in written words. In other words, it's a formal and serious expression. So you will see it mostly in official announcements or documents. The ending of a sentence should always be 한다 form or 합니다 form, and Korean people hardly use this with yo form. If you use yo form, it sounds weird because a casual word comes right after the elegant expression. It's just like you pair elegant clothes with slippers. Ah! Right? So, 의무로 is mainly used in verbs and adjectives. If a verb stem does not have a final consonant, you attach 무로. For example, 가다 to go does not have a final consonant, so you attach 무로 to the stem to make 가무로, go, because. If a verb has a final consonant, you attach 의무로. For example, 먹다 to eat has a final consonant, So you attach 의무로 to the stem to make 먹음으로 eat because for nouns you can attach 의무로 regardless of a final consonant. By the way, there was another expression for because since used in casual conversations. Is it 니까? Exactly. It is 니까. So when you want to make your writing formal, you can use 의무로 And in casual conversations, you can use 니까 to explain reasons and causes. Crystal clear? Then let's read a sample sentence that you might hear on news. 과도한 카페인 섭취는 건강을 해침으로 주의해야 한다. Since excessive consumption of caffeine can harm your health, you should be careful. This is so true. We should be careful of too much caffeine, right? Here, 해치다, to harm is a verb which does not have a final consonant. So you add 무로 to make 해치무로 since it harms. Then let's read the next sentence. 요즘은 추무로 추위에 대비할 필요가 있다. Since it is cold these days, You should prepare for the cold. Did you notice that the speaker sounds very rational because of the grammar 추무로? I hope you catch the nuance. Here, 춥다, to be cold, is an adjective to which piup irregular applies. So you remove piup final consonant, goodbye piup, and add 우무로 to make 추무로. Since it is cold, then let's read the next formal sentence. 개인적인 의견이므로 정확하지 않을 수 있습니다. Since it is my personal opinion, it is possibly not accurate. Oh, sounds very elegant, right? Here, 의견, opinion is a noun. So you add 이므로 to make 의견이므로 since it is an opinion. Quiz! Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? 치매는 완치가 예방하는 것이 최선입니다. Because it is difficult to cure dementia, it is best to prevent it. Number one, 어려움으로. Number two, 어려움으로. The correct answer is... Number one, 
I hope you guys got the correct answer. How was it? Here, 어렵다, to be difficult, is an adjective which has 비읍 irregular. So you remove 비읍 final consonant and add 음으로 to make 어려움으로 because it is difficult. Number two is wrong because the correct one is 우, not 으. So please be careful the next time. Then let's read it together. 치매는 완치가 어려움으로 예방하는 것이 최선입니다. Please read this part at least three times. Then let's look at the next quiz. 출입 금지 들어가지 마시길 바랍니다. Since it is a restricted zone, please do not enter here. Number one, 구역이니까. Number two, 구역이므로. The correct answer is number two. Well, this was a quite confusing one, right? Here, 구역, area is a noun. So you add 이므로 to make 구역이므로 since it is an area. Number one is inappropriate because it sounds too casual here. Because of the following sentence, 들어가지 마시길 바랍니다 is a formal expression and 구역이니까 is a spoken word, it is not appropriate to use them together. In other words, you should match formal expressions with formal ones to sound natural. Okay? Then let's read it together. 출입 금지 구역이므로 들어가지 마시길 바랍니다. Please read this part at least three times. The second grammar is 이나 이나 할것 없이 regardless of n or n. You can use it to tell the common features of two different things. Korean people often use this grammar with the word 남녀노소. Each letter has the meaning of men, women, old and young. So it means men and women of all ages. 남녀노소 할것 없이 means regardless of age and gender. Okay? And you can apply this grammar to a noun. If a noun does not have a final consonant, you attach na. For example, 교사, a teacher, does not have a final consonant, so you attach na to make 교사 na or a teacher. If a noun has a final consonant, you attach i na. For example, 학생, a student, has a final consonant, so you attach i na to make 학생이나 or a student. Now, let's read the sample sentence. 여자나 남자나 할것 없이 어울리는 운동화예요. These are running shoes which are suitable for everyone regardless of men or women. This is a phrase that sales lady are likely to say, right? Here, 여자, women, and 남자, men, are nouns. Both do not have a final consonant. So you add 나, 나, 할것 없이 to make 여자, 나, 남자, 나, 할것 없이 regardless of men or women. Let's look at the next sentence. 한국인이나 일본인이나 할것 없이 그 배우를 좋아해요. Regardless of Korean or Japanese, everyone loves the actor. Wow! He is a successful actor across the border, right? Here, 한국인, Korean people, and 일본인, Japanese people, are nouns which have a final consonant. So you add 이나, 이나 할것 없이 to make 한국인이나 일본인이나 할것 없이 regardless of Korean or Japanese. Let's look at the next sentence. 이 아이스크림은 아이나 어른이나 할것 없이 좋아할 맛이에요. This ice cream has the flavor which everyone loves regardless of children or adults. Everyone loves ice cream for sure, right? Here, 아이, children, is a noun and it does not have a final consonant. And 어른, adult, is a noun that has a final consonant. So you add 나, 이나, 할것 없이 to make 아이나, 어른이나, 할것 없이 regardless of children or adults. Quiz! 
Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? 저는 모든 운동을 좋아해요. I like all sports regardless of soccer or baseball. Number one, 축구나 야구나 할것 없이. Number two, 축구와 야구와 할것 없이. The correct answer is number one. 축구, soccer, and 야구, baseball are nouns, which do not have a final consonant. So you add 나, 나, 할것 없이 to make 축구나, 야구나, 할것 없이. You can also omit the particle and say 축구, 야구, 할것 없이. That's also okay. Number two is wrong because it uses the wrong particle 와. And then let's read it together. 저는 축구나 야구나 할것 없이 모든 운동을 좋아해요. Please read this part as if you are introducing yourself. Then let's look at the next quiz. 할것 없이 매일 바쁘다. I'm busy regardless of weekdays or weekends. Number one. 평일도 주말도 Number 2 평일이나 주말이나 The correct answer is Number 2 평일, weekday, and 주말, weekend are both nouns which have a final consonant. So you add 이나 이나 할것 없이 to make 평일이나 주말이나 할것 없이 regardless of weekdays or weekends. Number one is wrong because if you use the particle do, it does not sound natural. Then let's read it together. 평일이나 주말이나 할것 없이 매일 바쁘다. Please read this part again and again until you can speak it naturally. The last grammar, 는이, 은이만큼 means to the extent that because for verbs, you attach 는이만큼 regardless of a final consonant. So it is as easy as A, B, C, right? For adjectives, you attach 은이만큼. If an adjective has a final consonant in the stem, you add 니만큼. For example, 기쁘다, to be happy, does not have a final consonant. So you attach 니만큼 to the stem to make 기쁘니만큼 to the extent that I'm happy. If an adjective has a final consonant in the stem, you add 은이만큼. For example, 좋다, to be good, has a final consonant. So you attach 은이만큼 to make 좋은이만큼 to the extent that I'm good. For nouns, you attach 은이만큼 regardless of a final consonant. Then, let's read a sample sentence. 열심히 공부하는 이만큼 좋은 성적을 거둘 수 있을 거예요. To the extent that you study hard, you will be able to achieve a good grade. Here, 공부하다, to study, is a verb. So you attach 는 이만큼 to make 공부하는 이만큼 to the extent that you study. The verb 거두다, to achieve, to gain, is also a good word for intermediate learners. You can memorize this word as well. Then let's read a sentence of an adjective. 일이 바쁘니만큼 얻는 게 있을 거야. To the extent you're busy, there will be something you will gain. Here, 바쁘다, to be busy, is an adjective which does not have a final consonant. So you add 니만큼 to make 바쁘니만큼 to the extent you are busy. Then let's look at the sentence of a noun. 처음 하는 일이니만큼 잘 모르는 것도 많을 거예요. Because it is a thing that you do for the first time, there will be lots of things you will not understand well. Here, 일, a thing, is a noun. So you add 이니만큼 to make 이리니만큼 because it is a thing that. The direct translation would be to the extent 
that it is a thing, but I changed it a little bit for you to understand the content. Quiz! Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? 시간이 오래만큼 느긋하게 기다려야 돼. To the extent it takes a long, I should wait and relax. Number one, 걸리느니. Number two, 걸림으로. The correct answer is number one. 걸리다, to take time, is a verb. So you add 느니만큼 to make 걸리느니만큼. Number two is wrong because it is the first grammar we learned today. Do you remember that? That grammar expresses reasons or causes, right? And also will not combine with your form. Okay? Then let's read it together. 시간이 오래 걸리는 이만큼 느긋하게 기다려야 돼. Then let's look at the next quiz. 인원이 만큼 개개인의 부담이 좀클수 있어요. To the extent there are only a few employees, the burden to individuals could be a bit too big. Number one, 작으니. Number two, 적으니. The correct answer is number two. These are so confusing, aren't they? It's me who created this quiz, but even for me, the two looked the same at first glance. Here, talk that to be a few is an adjective which has a final consonant. So you add 은이만큼 to make 적은이만큼 to the extent there are a few. Number one is wrong. Because 작은이 means to be small. Then let's read it together. 인원이 적은이만큼 개개인의 부담이 좀클수 있어요. Please read this part again and again until you can say it naturally. Alright, it's time to give you homework. But before that, I'm gonna introduce a famous quote. You can check today's grammar inside. It's a quote by the inventor Thomas Edison. 나는 낙심하지 않는다. 모든 잘못된 시도는 전진하기 위한 또 다른 발걸음이므로. I am not discouraged because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward. Wow, good quote, right? You can pay attention to 발걸음이므로 because it is another step forward. This expression touches my heart. Don't you feel the same way, do you? If the part is 발걸음이니까, the meaning is the same, but the word choice affects how profound the meaning becomes. It's interesting, isn't it? I'm so moved by the quote, so now, come on, homework! There are two assignments. First, please make three sentences using today's grammar. For the first sentence, please use 의무로. For example, 감염 위험이 있으므로 항상 주의를 기울여야 한다. Since there is a possibility of infection, you should be careful all the time. Please keep in mind that you always use the grammar 무로 with 한다 form or 합니다 form. For the second sentence, please use 이나 이나 할것 없이. For example, 밤이나 낮이나 할것 없이 한국어를 공부해요. Regardless, at night or during the daytime, I study Korean all the time. How about you? You guys study all the time, regardless of time, right? For the third sentence, please use 느니, 은이만큼, to the extent. For example, 한국어를 가르치는 일이니만큼, 저는 항상 한국과 관련된 뉴스를 보고 있어요. To the extent that I do the job of teaching Korean, I always watch news related to Korea. I hope you guys understand the exact usage of each grammar 
and make your sentences. The second homework is to memorize new words. Please memorize the 40 words from number 881 to number 920 on page 12 in the intermediate vocabulary list. There is a vocabulary quiz of 40 words on my website, so just feel free to try it. The link is in the description box. That's pretty much for today. You guys did a great job. High five! Yeah! Now that you guys are studying Intermediate Korean, there are more and more ways to express yourself. And I'm so excited to teach more useful expressions. 그럼 오늘도 행복 가득, 웃음 가득한 하루 되세요. 한국어 파이팅 파이팅 파이팅!